Hello, and welcome back to Cultivated World, the channel that brings you the good stuff from the world of watches. Today, we are looking at the now discontinued Rolex Submariner with the green dial and the green bezel, affectionately known as the Hulk. We'll be talking about what makes this watch so special and is it really worth nearly 20,000 pounds or 25,000 US dollars? This is the model reference 116610LV, which was launched back in 2010. It replaced the 16610LV or the Kermit and took the mantle as the halo submariner in the range, the unicorn, the holy grail of submariners. This green submariner has all the key features of the standard black submariner date. A 40mm super case made from 904L steel. The case and the bracelet are both brushed with a satin finish with polished sides. The bracelet is completed with the ingenious glide lock mechanism. A trip lock crown allowing for a waterproof rating of 300 meters and the same 3135 in-house COSC certified movement with 48 hours of power reserve. The only differences between this and the black Submariner date is the color of the dial and the bezel. Well, that and the fact that this was much more elusive. When this green Submariner was first launched, it wasn't as coveted compared to how it is now. The world was a very different place and Rolex in general wasn't in as much demand as it is now on a global scale. Most models frequented the shop window displays and it was even possible to nab yourself a cheeky discount if you asked nicely. A lot has changed in the last decade. With the economic shift and the rise of the middle class the world over, coupled with the hype machine that is Instagram and other social media networks, the appetite for luxury goods has skyrocketed If I had to guess, Rolex initially made fewer green submariners simply because it was a less conventional color, a fashion or a trend color, so to speak. And Rolex expected to sell less of them compared to the conventional black submariners. The lower supply coupled with the growing cult following of the green submariner created the perfect storm for a phenomenon known as a Veblen good. A Veblen good has a positive relationship between price and demand. That's to say, as the price increases higher and higher, so does the demand as a result. Also known as the snob effect. So, what exactly is the appeal of the Green Submariner? Well, even though the Green Submariner had the same retail price as the Black variant, it would have cost you more money even if you had bought it from an authorized dealer. It is likely that you had already spent a significant amount of money at your authorized dealer before you were even invited to purchase the Green Submariner. Either that, or you paid over retail on the grey market. This simple fact gives the perception that the green submariner is even more of a status symbol than the black version, which ties in with the Veblen good theory mentioned earlier. One of the major selling points of the black submariner is that it is one of the most versatile watches you can buy. You can effortlessly pair it with almost any outfit and it just works. Let's be honest now, the same cannot be said for the Green Submariner. I believe you have to think a little harder when matching it with your outfit colors. 
and it is much less suited to more formal occasions. The green cerachrom bezel is not as lustrous as the green aluminium bezel on the predecessor. But just look at that sunray dial. It is stunning. The way the light dances around on the dial is just magical and definitely gives me a warm tingling feeling inside every time it catches my eye. So is it worth nearly £20,000? Well, that is subjective. From a technical perspective, it is quite easy to denounce that £20,000 valuation. However, if there is no other watch that makes you feel the way that this watch does, then of course it's worth £20,000. It's just a matter of how much of a priority it is for you to have this watch in your life. And I think that's the whole point. You don't buy the significantly more expensive and less versatile watch with your head. You buy it with your heart. What do you think of the now discontinued Submariner Hulk? Would you pay £20,000 or $25,000 for one? Or would you use that money to buy something else? Please let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. If you like watches as much as we do and want to see more watch content like this, please like and subscribe and remember to hit that bell icon.